Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I am your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. And this has been a long time coming. 18 months longer, if I guess you include the uh, cease and desist. So what do we have in front of you? Should I, maybe I should start from the beginning. From the beginning, in late summer of 2022, I got hit with a C and D from Justin Lanasa, TSR, and Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum. And the C&D wanted me to take down a bunch of videos. It wanted me to pay legal fees. And it wanted my communications regarding Wizards of the Coast and TSR, specifically communications dealing with Don Samora. So, I consulted with some friends that were attorneys, and they're like, yeah, you're not. And I, went, I didn't plan to, because I don't, I don't give up confidential conversations. So, follow that up, I guess it was October, oh, late September, early October, I can't even remember. I know the C&D was after my birthday. So actually it was mid midsummer. <clears throat> I get hit with a lawsuit. I got served and uh, accuses me of being a, a nasty, a, 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 saying nasty things about somebody. So, uh, do some uh, looking around. By the way, it's federal court. And I talked to a, a lawyer. And we're talking, and I'm explaining the situation, the case to him. And he's like, sounds to me like you're the press. Well, I go, well, Pew Research thinks I am. They hit me, you know, as part of their uh, surveys as a journalist. So he goes, you're not giving up your sources. You're not giving up your confidential conversations. Well, I didn't plan to. He goes, no, no. If you do, our firm will drop you. We are you. <clears throat> you die with your sources. You die with your your confidential conversations. You don't give them up. He goes. So if you have any any thoughts that you might, we're not the law firm for you. And I went to the law firm for me. And so it started to play out. And then uh, we responded to the initial filing. And uh, the judge took their initial filing and said, hey, you got to rewrite this. you got to amend your complaint. And opposing did. But when they did, they also served. Someone in my family. And we were told the word that was like, oh, we knew before it was coming. It's like, we heard that you're going to, your your wife, Rachel, is going to get served. When they served, they served my mother. Lois Stina. She was 78 at the time. Uh, or 79. And uh, AKA Rachel. My mother's never appeared on a video. Ever. Why do you serve my mother? And by the way, the damages were in excess of 75000 to in excess of a million. Well, I'll tell you why I think, and I don't know this for sure, I can't read opposing mind, but Rachel and I don't own property. We live in New York City, two-family home. Whose name do you think this home is in? Who do you think inherited this home from their mother? So, if you want to know the person I was dealing with, what kind of a person they are, they sued a 78-year-old woman who had nothing at all to do with the situation. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe better. And then it started playing out. 
forever. Forever, it seemed. And it's not a cheap process. Okay. Bad lawyers cost money. Good lawyers cost more money. My law firm was a good law firm. I knew I was in competent hands. But over the course of the last 18 months, it's cost over six figures. So I guess over the weekend, I'll, I'll do an accurate accounting of all my months. <laughs> Holy shit. <sighs> Yesterday, the judge ruled on our motion to dismiss. And she dismissed the charges. Today, the official judgment came down. And that's what's on the screen. <clears throat> Justin Lanasso, Eastern U.S. District Court, sorry, United States District Court, Eastern District of New York, Justin Lanasso, TSR LLC, and Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum LLC plaintiffs, Eric Stina, that's my true last name, like a dragon. I have a true last name, but we'll, we'll just say 10 car for now on, because that's what most people know me as on, in the community. Eric Tankar and Rachel Tankar, a memorandum in order of Honorable Kayo A. Matsumoto, United States District Judge, having been filed April 17, 2024, granting the Tankar's motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim with respect to Eric Tankar, dismissing Lanasa's claims against him with prejudice granting the 10 cars motion to dismiss for it. insufficient service. So this is what happened, by the way, with their last revision, where uh, opposing had to uh, remove the claim that me saying that Justin Lanasa was a criminal was a lie, convicted of a crime. Um, they had to remove that. And they had to remove... My mother, Lois Stina, from the lawsuit. Why? Because they realized and admitted that, oh, yeah, that's not, that's obviously not <coughs> Eric's Eric's wife. I guess we could have sent a marriage certificate. Maybe that would have sufficed. Um, but upon doing so, they did remove that one allegation about me making a false statement about Lanasa's criminal record, but they then added in Rachel. Just kind of slid her into the paperwork, a little backdoor stuff. It was uh, interesting. So, dismissing Lanasa's claims against him with prejudice, granting the 10 cars motion to dismiss for insufficient service with respect to Rachel Tankar, dismissing claims against her without prejudice. Why without prejudice? Because they never served her. They never did. Denying Lanasa's leave to amend his complaint again and denying the Tankar's request for all oral arguments as moot. It's dismissed. We don't worry about the oral arguments at that point. It is... <clears throat> ordered and adjudged that the 10 cards motion to dismiss for failure to state a claim is granted with respect to Eric Tenkar. Lanasa's claims against him are dismissed with prejudice. The 10 cards motion to dismiss is granted for insufficient service with respect to Rachel Tenkar that Lanasa's claims against her are dismissed without prejudice. That Lanasa is denied leave to amend his complaint again and that the Ten cars request for oral arguments is denied as moot. Dated Brooklyn, New York, April 18th, 2024, filed by Clerk of Court. Deputy Clerk is actually the one that entered it. Um, it is satisfying. It is rewarding. It was also exhausting. I'm glad it's over. 
I'm glad that someone stood up to the threat. There's a lot of times people use these legal threats to bully. They use these legal threats to shut down. I believe, I could be wrong, that one of the reasons, besides just to get my information about what Don may have told me or others may have told me, because, man, the list in the end was huge. Um, I believe, too, they wanted to make sure I did not testify in the Wizards of the Coast case in which uh, TSR, Dungeon Hobby Shop Museum, and Justin Lanasa at this point are being sued by Wati. It used to be a countersuit, but uh, now it's just a suit because TSR dropped their suit when they went into bankruptcy. I can be a witness now. I can be deposed. I think it would be interesting if I was. Folks, the support of the members of this community has been nothing short of amazing. I can't thank each of you enough. I really can't. It is humbling to be a member of this community and... I am left without words. I, I need to thank each and every one of you. And if I could thank you all in person, I would do so. This will have to suffice. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. The support of my wife, Rachel. Support of my friends. People that have been harassed during this campaign of, har of harassment. Don Samora and Tom Veralt and their wives. Everybody's support has been priceless. It is the it is the fuel that has kept me going. And uh, I think as Tom Veralt put it yesterday, ten cars back. <clears throat> At the very least, I am unshackled. And I will continue to do the coverage of the events in the gaming community and other videos. I've, I've been enjoying Arduin. You know, I'll probably start digging into Dragon Slayer and some other stuff. But I will keep on top of the event, and I will call out those that take advantage of the members of this community. It's I owe it to you all. I do owe you all. So, on that note, thank you all again. Be safe, be well. God bless. Each and every one of you, whether you believe in a higher power or not, spiritually your support has been Nothing short of amazing. So God bless you all. And uh, I will be back again tomorrow night with a live stream with uh, Glenn Halstrom, old man Grognard. And Rachel and I will have our next live stream on Saturday night, Gamer's Health. But if you want to know the topic, I can guess it's going to be related to this. And how do you, you know, how do you keep yourself from letting a, a, a lawsuit like this, a frivolous lawsuit, honestly, uh, not get you down over the course of 18 months. It's going to be an interesting episode because I, I have a lot of advice. I'm sure Rach does too. Um, maybe some will help you get through some troubles in life. All right, folks. That note, I'm out of here. God bless. Catch you later. Thank you all.